can 啊 ？Can 咩？哪里？好啦 ，connect mouse with iPad 喎。What's up, people? Yes, many questions like that, and I understand your frustration. That's why today I'm here to help you understand better. Now let's begin. The first thing you need to know is that the first generation Magic Mouse and the first generation Magic Trackpad won't work. They won't be able to connect to your iPad or to your iPhone. You need the second generation of either Magic Mouse or Magic Trackpad. But of course, if you have a third-party Bluetooth mouse, you can use that as well. Now here's a list of compatible iPad or iPhone models that are able to work with your mouse or trackpad. Just make sure that they are updated to the latest version of OS. Then they'll work fine. Now don't worry if you don't have any Bluetooth mouse or Magic Trackpad 2 or Magic Mouse 2. Later in this video, I will show you how you can connect your wireless or wired mouse to your iPad. Now before that, I don't have any Bluetooth mouse or Magic Trackpad or Magic Mouse with me right now. So what I can do is that I will show you how it can be done. Then you can do it by your own. Now this works with Magic Mouse 2, Magic Trackpad 2, and third-party Bluetooth mouse. Now first, you need to turn on your mouse first. Make sure it's on and it's in pairing mode, right? And next, you need to launch your settings. Launch your settings and go to Bluetooth, right? And under other devices, right, you will see your mouse name, right? So just tap on it and then you will able to connect your mouse. Because mine is not the Bluetooth mouse, mine is a normal wireless mouse, which I will show you later on how you can connect. Right, so the way to connect a Bluetooth mouse is by doing this. Alright, just a quick note. If you are pairing with Magic Mouse 2 or Magic Trackpad 2, you will be asked to provide a code and the code is 4 digit. 0, 0, 0, 0, 4, 0. Now let's move on to the non-Bluetooth mouse. Now this also works with wired mouse. First, connect your receiver to the iPad through this. This is the USB camera adapter. Right, it's a lightning to USB female. So just plug it in. Right. And then plug it into your lightning port. That's it. Right. Next, launch your settings. Okay. Swipe down until you see accessibility. Tap in. And you will see touch, right? Tap on touch. And you will see excessive touch. Tap on it. Turn it on. So once you turn on and make sure your mouse is on and you will see this little cursor over here, the pointer, that's what you call, right? So you can say move around. And if you wish to change the pointer style, you can always swipe down, right? You can see here, this is how you control it. Swipe down and then left click to select the pointer style, right? Tap on it and you can choose the size, right? You can big. Smaller, like the standard size is this one, the second one, and you can change the color as well. Right now, I'm using gray. If you want to make it red, you can make it red, yellow, orange. It's up to you. You can change, customize it. Right, and auto hide. This one is like, for example, if you don't use it for 50 seconds, then it will just uh, disappear. Right, this is why I said 15 seconds. If you want to change it, you can always increase or decrease it. If not, you can turn off meaning it will always be there. Now just a quick one, left click is select, right? And the middle one, if you have the scrolling one, you can just scroll up and down, right? And the right click is for you to just launch your excessive touch. And if you click on the middle button, it will straight away go home. So yeah, that's all I want to share with you today on how to connect your Bluetooth mouse, your Magic Trackpad 2, your Magic Mouse 2, to your iPad. It just kind of make your iPad feel like a computer. And I believe this is also the direction of Apple for iPad. And all the steps that I've shown you in this video, it also works on your iPhone. And if you have a Magic Keyboard too, you can also try it on your iPad. So let us know in the comment section below on what you think about this feature. Is this something that you will use? And when or how will you use it? Once again, Josh here and see you on the next video. Ciao.